Welcome to tonight's session. So today we had loads of trades, loads of trades and continuations from some good trades throughout the uh, the previous few days and weeks. If we start here with USD CAD, what can we see? What time frame am I on? This is the two hour chart. So let's just get to the daily. And the daily is pretty clear where we are and what we're faced with. So we have the first and the second zone and we have an ABCD pattern where it should be. And we're making higher highs and higher lows here. This is exactly what we want to see. We've taken a long here. Now, I'm not going to show you too much here what I saw, but ultimately we're long on that one. There was an, a Gartley pattern just here that bought the higher low and we took the next high. Let's have a little look. Yeah, it's coming off a little bit now, but ultimately this is very much a long trade. Probably we'll come back to the 50 EMA and then go again. But ultimately, we've been in it for a while. It's given us 10 or 15 pips, and it looks good. Right next, AD CAD, flying machine. You have to remember, we got in here. We got in here on the signal, and it's given us all of that. So it's given us three pushes to a high. Here's the pattern. Look how beautiful that is on the way down. First, second, third. This is the first on the way up. Looking lovely. Oh, what are you doing? So this is really nice. So what we're looking for here is uh, this is a zigzag consolidation, or we can probably draw out an ABCD here. This will be A, this will be B, this will be C, and this will be D all the way up into the 93s. Like that a lot. Looking good. AD, ADCHF. Trying to make some sort of bottom. This looks like three hits to a low to me. Now, if I can zoom out a little bit, we'll be able to see more of this. So you can see the... You can see the big red one, the big red two, and then you've got the one, two, three. That's really important. A lot of CHF pairs are doing this at the moment. So you can also see the one, the two, the three here. You can see the ABCD and the harmonics coming into a low. And you can also see the three hits to the low markets working threes. Not sure yet whether I want to get long, but there we are. AUD, NZD, first zone of consolidation lower. Notice the ABCDs that are complete. This blue one completes down here. Red one completes down here. So far, it's given us a one and a two. One, two. Market's working threes. It's a short. ADNZD, one of the Mona Lisa's. We're waiting to get short on this. It was actually a, a, an amazing short today off the right targeted entry as well, off the 50 EMA. Looking for shorts, looking for the third drop. This is something I will consider taking. Beautiful pattern, second zone of consolidation. We're exactly here on the model. We're expecting that lower to give it to us in threes to serve it up. Let's see what else we see. There's the one, there's the two. We expect a three. Really nice. Okay, moving through them. CAD CHF. This is creating a higher low. This has created a massive ABCD pattern, which you can see in blue there. Up here we have, oh, let's label it so thoroughness and completeness. A, B, C. D. A, B equals C, D. Massive completion. We took the D point, give or take. And we've been riding it for a while now. Generational long. We should expect to do this harmonic move again from here. So in terms of appreciation, if you were to do something small, such as a pound a point even, risk a pound a point, your stop loss would be below D at a level that you've back tested. So alone, we're talking, well, that's uh, that's a lot of points. It's almost 1,200 pips higher, which is, no, more, 12,000. Can't even work that out. Anyway, 18% potential gain, 18% gain. So if you're doing one pound a point, and that's 65, basically, uh, that 12K position you'll make off a one pound a point trade, which is crazy. Anyway, that's that picture there. If it works out, guys, you know, you need to be nimble. You need to see the picture in the first place. And that's certainly what we, we do here. Cat JPY spoke about this one as well. Humongous ABCD pattern completed. We're already short of this on a more nearer term pattern. <clears throat> so we are already short here. I tend to do my ABCDs red if it's a sell, blue if it's a buy. Uh, ABCD complete. I mean, you can't really make this stuff up, guys. You can't make it up. You can't make it up. You cannot make it up. So we've hit that exactly and we're pulling away. Can't make it up. That's it. It's in a peak formation, ultimately. We can see the consolidations below. We can see the one and the two, and now we see a peak. And the ABCD. You can't ask for more. 
another generational pattern potentially. CHFJPY, now this one is just misbehaving. Not misbehaving, it's just too much for me. It's it's like a needy, like a needy girlfriend, this guy. I just don't want to keep pandering to it and trying it, and trying to get a, getting on with it. I'm just leaving it. It looks like it's completed the pattern. I can see one, I can see two and three. I will wait for a break of structure before I touch it. Um, where are we? So we've got Euro AUD coming back. Always did think this had a chance. It was one of my favorite plays. There's a few things it's uh, communicating to me at the minute. We're looking good where we are. This is one for tomorrow. This really is one for tomorrow. It's a beautiful pattern. First zone, second zone, just to be a bit OCD. You need to have a little bit of OCD to care enough for your charts. So first zone, second zone, quite clear. Completed the Gartley in the second zone. That's setting us up for a long change of character. Breaker structure. You need to wait for this one to develop a little bit more. But looks amazing. Long. Eurocad starting to wake up a little bit. First zone higher. Um, just to show you, three and one. One, two, three, makes one. And this becomes the first zone. And now we're trading between the highs and lows of the zone. This is a, no, a nothing trade, really. We're just drifting lower here. Wouldn't surprise me if it sells off this particular one. Pass. Euro CHF, so let's talk you through this guy. So we took the long on this yesterday. It was an easy trade. Why did we take it? Because we saw two weeks of rise. Why did we take it? Because we saw two weeks of rise in line with the trend. Because we've identified that the trend's turning around. First week, second week. It's given us a third now. Um, we've completed, we we flipped this into a sell as well. Because we did complete the Gartley pattern. Do notice that. Do notice that. Because you it, you know you can't not notice it. So we're, we, we're taking trades on this Gartley. It is counter trend given. But still, we are looking for a move back to the 50 EMA. It hasn't touched the 50 for a long time. Um, so we're quite comfortable here at the minute. I would like to see it come off. And we can see a first, a second, and a third with a bit of an extension going on. So, yeah, there we are. We're down eight pips. But we made 30 on the way up. So we're basically locking in the position there. Um, next, Euro GBP. So we've had this as a long. This has been a great trade for us. Trading off the... 50 EMA again, notice that making a feature, but this is why we like it. So we can identify the first zone, the second zone, and we had an ABCD pattern complete at the lows. That's it. That's it. Next, Euro JPY is another crazy one. Notice the consolidation. Let me just label it up so everything's the same. First, second. This is hard to see, but this is uh, this is basically all one. And this is all two. So this is three up there and i'm not touching that pass next euro into d so i've been waiting for this guy and i've missed it so i'm a little bit pissed with the way this guy has set itself up it came so close so close it's completed three counters as well but what we're seeing here is an a b c d sorry a gartley pattern in line with the market cycle this hasn't completed down here, so this really is a huge toilet flusher, potentially, even though the pattern's there. I think there's going to be a load of movement here, stops or news. I have to check the calendar, but I love this a lot. This pattern is brilliant. It really does have everything going for it. Let me just get back to where I need to be on it. Okay, so we missed that bit there. Here's the pattern. So that's the pattern. We're looking for longs where the completion point is. And we came within 10 pips of it today. So our completion points here and price came very close to it. Um, it's a, yeah, it's a Gartley, Gartley long, ultimately. Um, we may have missed it. We shall see three days of drop as well. So yeah, moving on, Euro USD. What are you saying to me? Let's look on the higher time frame. So first zone of consolidation, expecting higher prices. And what are you giving? Let's see. So nothing at the minute. We're just changing characters here. But we can see clearly a one, a two, and I do expect a three. Same stuff, different chart. GPP AUD. Beautiful reaction off the targeted entry. Crazy. Level one, level two. Expect higher prices off the targeted entry. Hmm. Writing that one down for tomorrow. There's quite a few. There's quite a few to write down for tomorrow. That's just one of them. But there are quite a few. GBP CAD, I know it's nothing, it's a pass, it's a level one rise. Um, 
No, I'm not going to get drawn into that one. GBP CHF is away, off and away. It's completed the one, two, and the three down. Consolidation one up, completed three harmonics lower. High, 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 low, high, 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 low. Expecting higher prices. GBP JPY is a peak. Um, if I can make it smaller, first zone, second zone, peak formation. If you can see that at all. First zone, second zone, peak, pass. Uh, not doing GBP NZD. GBP USD, we took this today. We took this and we got TP1. We had 50 pips out of it. Um, this was on the premium group. It was, did I send it on both groups? I forgot if I did. Yeah, I did. But I sent it on both groups. It's a really nice trade. I can see where we are on the cycle. One, two down the peak and we're expecting the first zone higher. And for, my, for me, my entries were... They were good entries. I'm not going to give all that away just on these update videos, but yeah, they were they were good, obviously. NZD CAD is very much like AUD CAD, which is probably bullish. Let's have a look. So what we can see is the, let's label it up. We can see the first zone, the second zone. We can see the first zone up is in the form of a zigzag or an A, B equals C, D, making high highs and high lows. So far... This has been a really nice trade. Nice, but there's other things to trade. Notice the red ABCD being the turning point in that consolidation. NZDCHF is really nice as well on the way down. Let me label it up. One, two. Much like AUDCHF is trying to create this three hits to a low. This is another one on my radar for higher prices. Something's going to happen to CHF. Not sure what. Now here's one of my, ah, it's, oh, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. One, two, and then a one, two, three, all off the 50 EMA, all on level three. We were getting in here. It's wonderful, this stuff, when it's like that. Um, we took a short on this thing today. There's the one, there's the two. Um, potentially, this is a long, but I took it as a short. I haven't updated my chart yet. I do believe this is like AUD USD, and we are expecting short. I just do. I just don't like the way this consolidation zone hasn't taken out this consolidation zone, and therefore it's one big consolidation zone with a trap false into a real lower low, lower high. Still, um, we've been in this most of the day. I think it's positive five pips at the minute. But if we go down to the time frame, you can actually see the the pattern itself. Well, that's the crude ABCD. Let's go down one more. There it is. So you can see price went above it. Both went above the blue and the red, and it's just come back down to respect it at the minute. This is obviously price has exceeded the red one, so it must be an extension of some kind. Let's just see if it comes in at a measurement yet. One second, I just need to add in the 127 extension because for some reason it wasn't there. 127. Okay, so we've come in and respected the 127 extension of CD, which is all good. We expect this to come off. Next. Gold hit TP2, which is nice. One, two, easy, easy, easy trades. Beautiful. Level one, level two, higher highs, higher lows. We're in it. This was like an ugly Gartley. It looks nice. Very happy with that. Um, I'll do the indices another day. Uh, US dollar, no, not for now. Uh, USD CAD, so we, we like this one. Have we looked at it already? It's clear. First zone, second zone, A, B, C, D. Off the 50, expecting higher prices. Looks really nice. USD, CHF, another one that has completed everything. It's done three up. No, no bias right now. Needs to anchor, if anything. And that's it, ladies and gents. Let's just have a quick look at Bitcoin. So Bitcoin's completed extended ABCDs, hugely extended ABCDs. But if we have a look at the pattern on the, the weekly, there's a long way to go for Bitcoin higher. So we've got the first zone. We've got the second zone and we know we're not going to make the third still. You know, we really do know that we could get a retest back to the 50 here, but I doubt it. This is just going higher parabolically at the minute. So um, there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed that video, folks. If you have any questions, please reach out. And if you're interested, do join my YouTube channel at Melons Trade, where I can go into more in-depth analysis on how these patterns work. And uh, I wish you all the best. Thanks for watching. Cheers.